And welcome back to Monday's Midday. Heather Bordlawn with the Rapids Parish 4-H is joining us now. Heather, great to have you. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Well, we got two things we're talking about. So the commodities fundraiser. Yes, yes. So it's our annual fundraiser. So we do one in the fall and one in the spring. And in the fall, we focus on sweet potatoes, rice, and pecans, okay. which are all grown here in Louisiana just to support our farmers and our local commodities. Um, our sweet potatoes come from Garber Farms in Iota, Louisiana, okay. as well as the rice. It's a jasmine rice that has a really uh, cool popcorn aroma when you cook it. Hmm. And then our pecans come from uh, Point Capi Pecan Company, which they have several different options on our fundraisers. Wow. Okay. Okay. And so people can can order these items in uh, what are the quantities they can order them in so the sweet potatoes come in a 10 pound box for twelve dollars okay. and a 20 pound box for twenty dollars so if you purchase the larger box you get a little bit of a price break and mm -hmm. then the rice comes in a two pound a five pound and a ten pound bag um, and then our pecans there's several different varieties they can order um, a praline crunch they can order mm -hmm. sugar pecans chocolate covered pecans oh. uh, dark chocolate covered pecans so there's several different varieties they can choose from whether they're baking for the holidays or just want to enjoy some pecans. Hmm, that sounds pretty good. And so I do want to mention we have that QR code up there on the screen. You can scan that to order online too. Absolutely. Right. Or if you have a 4-H'er mm -hmm. or just looking um, to support a school, you can also reach out to um, some of our schools that have 4-H chapters or, or clubs and you can say, hey, I want to place an order, but I don't know how to place it under. Or you can call our office and place it over the phone if you prefer not to uh, pay that 50 cents fee for processing as well. Right. Okay. And they need to be ordered by November 1st. That that is correct, and then okay. pickup's going to be the 18th, if I recall correctly, and that will be either at the 4-H office or the mega shelter. We'll send out a notification to let them know where the exact pickup site's going to be, depending on the quantity. All right, we'll get your orders in for that. And then, yes. I mean, it, I keep having to remind myself that today is September 2nd, so we're officially in September next month, the fair. Absolutely, and so that's a huge highlight, not only for our community, but also for our 4-H members. So we want to remind everyone that um, there is a process in order to have some of those entries in, so if you have a child that is uh, nine years or older they mm -hmm. will have to be a 4-H member to participate in the fair and receive their premiums and they can go online and look at that fair catalog to see what the opportunities may be as far as entries anything from social studies projects to it can be um, okra or tomatoes that you picked in your garden mm -hmm. leaf collections crochet sewing projects opportunities are endless and there's a really cool opportunity as well to let their kids walk through and see all the hard work that's showcased through there as well. Absolutely. Well, Heather, we are out of time, but so, thank you so much for joining us here on Labor Day. Well, thank you for having us. <laughs> Absolutely.